All right, all right, everyone calm down, everybody relax. It's day number two. Everyone's had a chance to process the information. Everyone's had a chance to relax and calm down. All the hype is starting to die down a little bit. Now we can think clearly and concisely about what the fuck is really going on with this goddamn console. Do you feel me, my boy? Do you feel me? All right, look, look. So now that I've had a chance to relax myself and the hype juices, the hype meter is down and low, I can think and I can see clearly now. It's time to talk about this console again. So I, there, there's, there's some... It's the, the fuck fuck. <laughs> There's been a couple new stuff that's come out since the reveal yesterday. Some kind of good, a lot of it not so good. I'm not I'm not liking everything I'm hearing uh, from you know sources like Emily Rogers and, and people that she knows and stuff like that in the industry. So I'm not too happy with everything, but there are some really good things um, to talk about. So I'm just gonna dump into just a, a couple stuff that that I that I found out. This isn't gonna be everything. But just the, the stuff that I find that was actually relevant to the to, to this console. So number one, just gonna, from what Emily Rogers said on, on her Twitter, anyways, she says that there's from her sources. Nintendo hasn't confirmed this, but from her sources, the same person who leaked to her that the that the uh, the video was going to be happening is now telling her that there's not going to be any region locking for the console, which is great. So that's totally what we want because there are some times when fucking like. Japanese games will come out and it's just like well we can't fucking play those games or sometimes the game will come out in Europe months before we get it in North America and we have to wait super super long and it doesn't really make any sense because the game's going to be in English regardless so now there's no reason locking we won't have to wait for that shit anymore thank god Nintendo actually listened if this is true from but what from what it sounds like it seems like this is actually going to be true so good shit on their part for that number two Unreal Engine 4 support being confirmed for the Nintendo NX. This is also really good. I remember, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but I think, I guess it's like the CEO or maybe the head of Unreal Engine or whatever. I remember they, they had some conference or some panel somewhere, right? And some guy in the crowd was like, oh, is this, uh, is this uh, engine going to be available on the Wii U? And he just started laughing and shit. And that was, that was, that was pretty bad. But, you know, uh, he, he came out on Twitter, you know, on, they, they, they posted on Twitter. We're so excited to be partnering with Nintendo on their consoles. That's really good. You know, games like Paragon, which I was kind of hyped for, not so much anymore, but games like Paragon uses Unreal Engine 4. I believe Kingdom Hearts 3 uses Unreal Engine 4 too, which is pretty fucking good. So, yeah, I'm hyped for that. That's always good shit. A lot of these developers and, 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 and engines are, are being confirmed for the console really early on, so that's really good. At least out the gate, we know we'll get third-party support, so at the very least, we won't be able to say, oh, there weren't any third-party games, so da 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 And look, if, as long as Nintendo can bring the first party, which I'm pretty sure, we're pretty sure that they will, on top of this third-party support that, that they're getting and all these engines being supported by the console, that's great. That's great. It's fantastic. That's what we want to hear, and I'm super excited about that as well. Some things that I didn't like about what I was hearing from this console... Like, I remember, uh, like, we all remember that Skyrim and NBA 2K17 was showing up in the trailer. For some reason, those games aren't really confirmed to be on the console, which I don't, I don't really understand why they would do that. I remember Rich, uh, Review Tech USA made a video on it yesterday, which was, he got a little heat for it, but honestly, he was right. It, it's kind of stupid to, to put those games in the trailer if they aren't really confirmed. I, I, I have a feeling they're probably going to be coming to the system, which is still good. It's probably going to happen. But it doesn't really make sense to put it in the trailer if you're not really 100% sure that it's going to be there, you know. So, yeah, that's that's that's, that's kind of dumb. The next thing that I didn't like uh, from what I was hearing yesterday was that the, the actual dock for the console itself doesn't actually boost the power of the system. That's what I was, in my head, when I was watching the trailer and, and, and afterwards, I was thinking, okay, we're going to have you know kind of a lower resolution version on the handheld you put it in the dock and then it boosts the power that's what made sense to me that's what i thought they were going to do if you guys remember they did have that supplementing computing uh patent a while ago for the nx so now since we now it's, it's been confirmed that okay this console isn't the dock isn't going to boost the power of the console now what i'm thinking is that later on in the gener uh, in the life cycle of this console they're probably going to start releasing SKUs of this you know separate device to boost the power of the um 
of the of the snap which does make a lot of sense if they're good for right now they don't really need it if they don't need more power right now they're not going to do it but if later on developers are saying okay this console is starting to get a little obsolete scorpio's out pro's out that would be a really good time to say okay for 100 bucks you can buy this you know additional uh peripheral and you can and it can now boost the power of uh you know of our games I'm not too sure if that's gonna, you know, work well with Nintendo fans because a lot of Nintendo fans are bashing this, you know, like Sony and Microsoft are coming out with these mid-generational consoles. So if Nintendo were to do that, that extra device to boost the power of their system, I don't know if that would be okay with them. It'd be okay with me personally. I'd do it. Fuck it. I don't care as long as I can get, you know, more third-party games. I don't really care. So that's fine for me, but might not be so fine for everybody else. These next two bits are kind of. Uh, I guess, I guess it's not really surprising to me. I kind of had a feeling when I was watching the trailer too. Obviously, I know a lot of you guys know that the one there, there aren't gonna be any more information on this console at all until next year, which is really kind of depressing. That really kind of, that kind of drained the hype out of it for me. As soon as I heard that we're not gonna hear anything else for the next two months, it, like there's there's one thing, if you're going to be silent for this console for the rest of the year, fine. But if you're not, but it's not like you're releasing any games between now and January of next year. There's going to be nothing to play. If Breath of the Wild was coming out next month for the Wii U, I would be okay with no information for the NX coming out until next year because I'd have something to play on your console. There's nothing to play other than Pokemon on a Nintendo console between now and next year, and that's just depressing. So the fact that we don't even get any more information from Nintendo officially is kind of, it's kind of like, wow, we're going right back to the rumors and speculations again. All right, good shit, Nintendo, nice shit. I mean, as long as, if third-party developers are, are confirming games, I guess that's okay too, but I have a feeling they probably won't be. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be holding that off for like a Nintendo Direct, like, oh, here's all the games that we're showing and we get all these surprises. I'm pretty sure they're telling devs, they're telling developers that, hey, don't talk about your games just yet. We wanna do a big reveal of the games and, 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 and uh, more details on the console next year, right before it releases so people can get more hyped and more surprised. That makes sense, but it's still kind of fucking annoying. I'm just gonna have to be honest with y'all. Number two, I don't, I don't know why people thought this was going to happen, but apparently a lot of people thought that this console was going to be able to play 3DS games. Like, you could just take 3DS game cards and just pop them into the, uh, the NX. Why? I don't know. People, I don't know why anyone would think that would work, but that's what people were saying. It's been confirmed. That's not going to fucking happen. So, ha! Niggas are stupid. Anyways, this last one, um, these are all coming from... Uh, that dude's name. I can't, I can't. All coming from the the guy on Twitter from Wall Street that, that, that posts about... Japanese shit and fuck. Anyways, <laughs> when Nintendo was asked if the Switch can run smartphone games, they commented what they said was that we can't comment right now, which is pretty interesting. If I feel like if they can get games, I'm pretty sure they could. Maybe I don't know actually. That'd be kind of weird. If they could get Pokemon Go on their console, I'm sure they can get Mario Run on their console. But honestly, why would you play Mario Run on, <laughs> you know, on your NX? when you could fucking play the new Mario game on the end. Like, you know, like that wouldn't really make any sense. So I don't think they'll do this. I'm sure they're probably thinking about how they can implement it without it seeming useless to, now that you can play all your console games on the go. But it, it, it is interesting, you know, if they can bring their Pokemon, Pokemon Go, I'm sure if they can figure out a way to bring Pokemon Go to their console, I'm sure people would play it. So why not, you know? So that's pretty much it. I'm still really excited for this console, but there were a lot of things today yesterday i should say that kind of i don't know it just kind of made me a little bit upset i this still this console is still going to be really cool i think i feel like everyone's really excited about it. like that that's the thing people aren't confused about this console like they were with the wii u you know people are, a lot of people are still taking a wait and see approach with this console but less people are confused and more people are excited i, I feel like the, the the general consensus consensus about this console over the internet is that majority of people are excited yes like myself this isn't exactly what i wanted i wanted a bit more of a traditional console but honestly this is a, the least gimmicky console nintendo has made in forever so i can't really complain and i feel like a lot of people are excited about this console and i feel like it's going to do pretty da damn well i think the trailer last time i checked it like what 12 13 million views or some shit so like the highest viewed video on, on nintendo's channel and it's only been two days like it's crazy a lot of people were excited to learn about this and a lot of people are excited about it and i feel like once they see the games that's just gonna push everyone over the edge and people are gonna start say, you know what? Nintendo's giving me a reason 
to actually play this console. P Nintendo's giving me a reason to pick third party games on their console over my PS4 or, or Xbox or PC. Yeah, it's not gonna look as pretty. It might not even run as well, but honestly, if I can play it on the go, that is a game changer. That's huge, 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 huge. And I really like that about this, this, this console. So we'll have to wait and see. It really does suck. There's nothing to fucking play. I, I feel real bad for Nintendo only gamers. Y'all niggas got nothing to fucking play. I, I feel so bad for y'all niggas. I'm sorry. But yeah, there's nothing to play. So it's going to be a long time before we, uh, get some more excitement unless these third party developers decided to say fuck it and, and you know, re reveal some games but until then we're gonna have to wait we're gonna have to see and uh yeah it's gonna be a long two three months man uh, fuck me man anyways that's it for this video guys i'm gonna catch y'all later peace out